What's up YouTube? Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have the long awaited jewelry collection video. I haven't done this since like 2019 I think was the last time I did this and the one consistent question I always get is about my jewelry so I just I'm gonna go through all of it pretty much here. There's a lot of stuff that I don't wear. There's a lot of stuff that I do wear. I'm gonna go through like the daily rotation jewelry stuff that's in this jewelry box and then we're gonna get into the, all the miscellaneous stuff so Let's kick it off right here. So first we're just gonna get into the Ore NYC jewelry box. Shout out to Ray on this one. This is like made with, I think vintage military, like that stock material, which is really nice. Um, I keep all my daily daily jewelry in this all the time. So it's really useful. And in here, just get into some of the stuff. It's really nice. Has a bunch of different compartments, has this top one. So we'll get probably into just my daily stuff. So we'll get into something very new. This is the, so this is the Chrome Hearts Cemetery Ring. I've been trying to get this ring for literally ages now. I've been trying to get this ring for so long. Uh, I even tried to get it at the Chrome Hearts store when I was out there in New York. Wasn't able to get it just because they didn't have my size. And then I got it through Drip Tea Market, which is a store out of Seattle. Thanks to Kenneth, he proxied it for me. Bro, who is calling me? Yo, like, what's you what's you on about, bro? Yo, so like, so I'm hearing a whole lot of like jibber jabber on the internet talking like, you saying you have the best Chrome Hearts collection on YouTube? I do, bro. I know I do for a fact, bro. Yo, but like, res respectfully, first of all, we just go cut to the chase. I was the first person on YouTube with Chrome Hearts, so like, we're not gonna get it twisted, right? Okay. And second of all, second of all, you don't even have the the Chrome Hearts fitted. Ooh. That, that's like, that's like. Having a Yankee cap with no brim. Uh, hey, I don't need that. What do you mean? I don't even need that, bro. Yeah, I don't even have this. Oh my god, my brother came over. I gotta restart this shit. <laughs> um, it's about like eight hundred US or something like that. I think like eight or eight fifty is the retail. Pretty worth it for Chrome. It's like a pretty substantial weight for a silver piece. You are paying for silver, but you're also paying for the branding. So that's my first ring. Actually, I'll just put it on so that you guys could see what my daily my daily wear is. I think I wear like this normally on my on this ring finger. And then the next one we'll get into is this little stack situation that I've been doing. So we'll get into two. Let's put this down here. These two rings. This one is from Staatsballet, which is a brand from Kaylee and Avery. Uh, they both run it. Very like artisanal brand, avant-garde. Really nice. It starts off all black and then it fades to this, which is really nice. It's like pre-oxidized, if that makes sense. And then it chips away to this silver, which is really cool. Then this next one right here, is this spinny ring i'll put the link in the description below but a lot of people ask me where to get jewelry in montreal this is pretty much where you could get it if you want to get custom stuff or whatever so it's bagus bagus okay bagus is the name correction from max <laughs> so that's how i wear it i just stack them together i put this one on top and then this one here and then that's that canal so that's how i wear them a lot of people were asking about the spinny ring in the last vlog that's this one it looks kind of like chrome, but it's not because they don't have, I, I think they actually do have a spinning ring, but it's pretty expensive. I think it's like 1200, so I'm not too down for that, but I'm down for this one. So yeah. So we'll finish off the last three rings that I have here. These ones I don't really wear too much. It's kind of like a place filler whenever I feel like I need more rings. But as of recent, I've only been wearing these three, but on two fingers, but this one is like a dupe for a, a Cartier ring like the what's it called the just include or whatever the nail ring pretty much they also have a a chrome one like this but this is literally made out of uh, stainless steel so it's nothing crazy i think the actual one is maybe like a thousand also but way too expensive it looks nice like this though it's pretty cool i like it then the next one is from silverstone it's just this cuban link pretty standard pretty classic they call it the curb link i think but uh, this one's also pretty nice too, just as a placeholder. And the last one, my Thanos ring. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. It just has like a little gemstone in the middle. It's kind of like collegiate at the same time too. Forget the brand of this one, um, but also very nice. It's a bit more bright than the rest, so it's kind of hard to mix with my other silver, but I like these nonetheless. So this is literally all of them on all together. This is like doing the most, but I just wanted to show you what they look like on hand. This is like the nail dupe, the curb link, and then the Thanos ring. Um, so that's all of them on together. But I honestly would probably just wear it like this sometimes. 
but yeah. So we're gonna move on to bracelets. This is another question that I get quite often. My stack of bracelets, it's inspired by Young Thug, obviously. He stacks a lot of bracelets and they're mixed with like gold, diamonds, everything. This is a very affordable take on that, obviously. So it's a lot of silver bracelets. I've acquired them over time. Um, and now the stack is looking like this. So I'll just go like from top to bottom. So this one I got from my girlfriend Megs. She's so nice and got me this. It's like a, it's like a pear shape or like a, just a pear shape gemstone bracelet, all red. I think red looks really nice and like a tennis link bracelet. It's a very deep red too. So it shows the color very nicely. I just got this repaired too, so I'm gonna wear it a whole lot now. And it's your birthstone. And it's my birthstone, which is really nice of her. Thank you. And my next one is a, just like a Miami Cuban, very tiny. This is from Silverstone, I believe. The first one is custom, pretty much, I think. Yeah, so just like a Miami Cuban, very small, very classic from the Silverstone. This next one got from my mom. Don't remember where she got it from, but I'm pretty sure it's just some like custom silver, nothing crazy. They're like diamond cut but no diamonds, so it gives that like brilliance, which is really nice. This next one is from Ore NYC. I believe that's stainless steel instead of silver. There's this like little peace sign, which is cool. And this next one I got from Bagus, another Bagus appearance. This one's really nice. I love the link. Reminds me of like an Elmez link, which is cool. Uh, this one, is from Clocks in Color. Kind of reminds me of Chrome. It's like a, it's like a reef almost, barbed wire style. And then the last one is this, another Miami Cuban, but like a bigger, chunkier one. Oh, gotta flip it. This one I like too because I like the closure. It's very like reminiscent of like a one that's actually at a jeweler or something. And that's the stack. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. So we're gonna get into the necklaces that I wear semi-daily, I would say. Um, the pearl one is something that I do varying on the outfit and all that, so we'll get into that. But the, but the silver necklaces is pretty much something that I wear on a daily basis. Uh, we'll start off on the longest one, let's say, which is probably my most precious one next to the gold chain that I'll show you guys, which is this Chrome Hearts long uh, pave set cross. I got this a long time ago from RD Archive, uh, which is my friend Romel's archive store. He sells to Travis and a lot of other big celebrities, which is pretty interesting. So he was one of the first people that was really onto Chrome before I knew a lot of people were onto Chrome. Um, hence why I made a lot of content at that time when I did, which is like 2018. Um, and this is something that's lasted with me ever since. Um, pretty pricey. I think this goes like upwards of like 2.6 retail. I did not pay that, but it's, it's pretty pricey, but pretty worth it at the same time. Depends on what you're vibing with, but I really like this one. It looks nice. And the sizing, it's a lot. A lot of people like how I layer my jewelry, so I'm gonna size it for you guys live on camera because I always get DMs about it. I think it's, oh, it's 25. For all you guys asking, it's 25 long, the ball chain. So that's the first long one. Then the mid size one would be this. Don't know the name of this chrome pendant, but uh, I'm just gonna call it the Fleur CH pendant. That's my name for it. Then this one is on a clocks in color chain. And I think this one is probably gonna be like 22 long, probably. No, 21. So that's 21. If you wanna stack them like that. And then the last one is from Sanjeev. It's out to Sanj. This one is probably 20. Yeah, 20. So that's the gradient. 
of how I stack my silver jewelry and then the length of my pearl one is 18. And the pearl one, get a lot of questions about this also, got this, I'm just gonna refer to it as custom pretty much. It's like a little African man, he makes jewelry, really nice. Really nice guy. I haven't seen him for a while though. Megs and I buy a lot of jewelry from him. But uh, you could get- the best. Yeah, he's so nice. He's, he's extremely nice. But uh, honestly, you could get freshwater pearls pretty much anywhere, any type of jewelry spot that you go to. If you want to go there, you could go there. You could go to Bagus. You could go pretty much anywhere. If you want to go on Etsy, type in freshwater pearl necklaces, you could pretty much find them anywhere. And what I like about them is that they're all like different in sizes and stuff like that. There's like no uh, symmetry or whatever. So that's what I like about it. And I'll just layer it all up for you guys. While I layer it up, I got the CH Fleur pendant from my friend Chad, which is really nice of him. I did some photography and he paid me with the pendant. And the Sanj chain I got from Sanj. And that's where I got pretty much everything. So this is what it looks like all stacked up. Do you want to tell the awful Baby oh come. my gosh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so this pendant had a little brother. Um, our pizza little bro. He's gone, he's no longer with us. Uh, I went out to dinner with Megs and uh, we were walking home and I just felt something like tickling on my chest and it was a chain loose and I was like, oh. So I looked down and the smaller version of this was gone. So basically like thousand plus dollars down the drain, but just a lesson to be learned. Like just like every time you get up somewhere, just like touch anything that's valuable. Just make sure that you double check that. But I mean, it's material possessions. I think happens. more of the moral of that story is like, fix your clasps often. That too. Because that too. you wear those necklaces every day, you're yeah, not gonna realize. Yeah, this is not but... like, it's not really smart to wear these daily either. It's just like, I really like them. Realistically, I should probably just wear like one, but it's a lot at the same time. So, looks good. Yeah, pull the pearl up. That's what it looks okay. like all together. So we're gonna get into all the gold jewelry that I don't wear too much anymore. Just cause like gold is nice, but like I just like silver a bit better. Gold is more something I was wearing like 2015, I wanna say, um, but it's still nice. Like sometimes I'll, I'll throw it in a mix here and there, but uh, for the most part I wear silver now. But starting it all off, this is a newer piece. Let me get the exact name for you guys. This first gold ring, this is a newer acquirement. This is from ONI, the brand. It comes with like a green gemstone, which is really nice. And it's all 14 karat gold, which is really cool. Um, I normally wear this like, I think on this finger, which is really nice. I would never really like mix metals, but just so that you guys could see what it looks like. Give your opinion on mixing metals. Uh, how do I feel about mixing metals? Um, I personally wouldn't do it. I like doing like white gold and rose, like that's the only metals I'd really mix just cause they kind of complement my skin. But anything that's like on opposite ends of the, strip, the spectrum, like which is like silver and white gold and yellow gold, just doesn't really mix in my head. But uh, I've seen some people do it. So it could kind of work out, depends on how you prefer to wear your things, but. And when you wear your chrome glasses with the rose gold, you don't mind yeah. wearing silver with it? Yeah, no, I don't mind because I feel like my my chrome glasses pull out different colors from like my facial features compared to like how my jewelry does and i don't think it has to necessarily match just because i don't know it, it it's like almost like hardware on a jacket i don't feel like i have to match my hardware for my jacket to like my jewelry per se if that makes sense but um yeah i like rose and and white together but yellow has to be completely separate in my personal opinion this one i got from popular jewelry co um got it customly made just like a very common thing to do in new york just like a name ring uh they also do chains too which is pretty nice if i were to go back i'd make this solid um just because it's a bit hollow but at the time mads didn't have too much money you know what i mean so but yeah i really like this ring it's pretty cool pretty classic standard 14k i think too 14 karat gold. Uh, and this last one is for my grandma. Very sentimental. 
very nice. Um, just like Pave set. This is her company ring and she just gave it to me because she doesn't ring, uh, wear it anymore. Has her initials on the inside, which is really nice too. And just a funky little design. I think this is 14 karat gold as well. And the last one is probably the most sentimental and big boy piece, I guess you would say. This is this uh, 24 karat gold chain. It's really heavy. It's I'm scared to wear it, honestly. Like, I don't really wear it anymore because it's soft gold. It's the softest gold could be because it's pure gold. It's fun. It looks cool like that. Hold the gold. This is a bunch of silver jewelry that either has to get repaired or doesn't really fit my style anymore or doesn't fit me, period. So we'll get into a newer one. I like starting with like the newer ones. This is a Cuban link bracelet that I have from Clocks and Color. It's really nice. I love the motif on it and everything. I think it's like a, it's supposed to be like a catfish on it, or some type of fish. It's pretty interesting. It reminded me of Chrome once again, but very different in its own right. The only problem with this is that it doesn't fit me, unfortunately. It's like maybe one or two links too small. Um, hopefully I can bring it to like some type of... <laughs> it fits her though. See, it fits her, you guys. Wait, no, I'm just trying to, sorry. Just... Here's the clasp. Pretty nice, I just wish it fit me. I'm gonna bring it to a jeweler and hopefully they could add some class for me and we'll make it work. Next one, it's in this bag of lost treasures. It's like a whole bag of stuff that I really just don't get around to wearing anymore, unfortunately. This is a silver Gucci dog tag that Harley gave me a long time ago. Very, very long time ago. Just don't wear it anymore and it broke. So don't really get around to wearing it too much. I'm kind of scared for it to break and it's not really in my style range anymore, but I still kept it just cause it's a really nice gift. And yeah, pretty simple and plain. So I have this ring from Bagus, another appearance from Bagus. It's just this like warped mirror like ring. Pretty dope. Oh, almost forgot like that. It's pretty dope, pretty simple and plain. Nothing too much to say about it a little too hollow for my liking going if i were to go back i'd get it a bit more like substantial but still nice nonetheless i just have better rings now i find that suit me currently but yeah pretty cool next I have this ring this is one of meg's favorite rings this is this bulb pinky ring also inspo young thug he has like this really big one but i have this little baby silver one it's pretty cool Another problem with this, just a little hollow. Like if it was filled in in the back, it would feel a lot more substantial. So maybe I'll get that done soon. It's really nice. I like it, it's pretty unique. So yeah. Next one, this ring from Kayani. Very aggressive, but very interesting at the same time. It reminds me kind of like Rick Owens jewelry or like Michelle Lamy, stuff like she would wear and everything like that. If I'm trying to like dress up for some type of crazy event, I would probably wear something like this. It's very intense but it's pretty cool. You bought that? No, they sent it to me. Oh. Yeah, which is really nice of them. Shout out to Kayani. This signet ring I got from Saint Hood. I really like this ring. It, this, when it comes to weight of rings, this is like what I'm looking for. Um, just very heavy, substantial. The only thing it's like a bit too like religious, it feels like, like the, the motif on the front just feels like, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like too much energy radiates from this ring. There's also like uh, a Mary on the side. So yeah, I don't know. It's nice, but it just doesn't suit my style currently right now anymore, but the weight is perfect. So there's always like little nitpicky stuff that doesn't really set me the right way when it comes to jewelry, but yeah. Next, I need to get this repaired like ASAP, but it's this feather pendant really love this pendant it's like perfect it's like really dainty adds a nice little spice to uh 
your chain setup if you like stuff like this. So this is from Silverstone, I believe. Next one, also from Silverstone, this like chunky bracelet, another issue of mine, hollow bracelets. This looked great, but then when I had it, it's like, like you could kind of hear it, it's a little too hollow. If it was dense, it would be like perfect, but I would definitely wear this a lot more often if it was if it was filled, but really cool. Love the finish of it and the link. This is like one of my favorite style links, um, just to circle and circle. Yeah, also from Silverstone. Last two rings are this Yeah ring throwback to Jacob and Fernando. They released these a long time ago. You guys should bring these back. Also the star bracelet. I have a star bra bracelet, I took it off, but I need another one. So if you guys have any more, <laughs> send me one. Cause that's like probably my, one of my most complimented bracelets. And uh, this one from my great grandma, I believe, which is in, in crazy, super sentimental, really nice. It's from Belize, which is really cool. And yeah, that's it for all of the jewelry. That's all of it. You guys can stop bugging me now. No, I'm joking. But it's really, I've been trying to do this video for a long time because I was waiting for this and to like complete my set. But there's always gonna be a chase for jewelry, I realized I really like it and I enjoy buying into it. So the next things to just wrap up the rest of this video, what I'm looking into getting later on in the future is probably just one more crumb ring. Probably get something for my pinky. It'll be like the dagger ring with a uh, pave in the middle of the sword. That'll be the last chrome ring. And then maybe one more ring for my right hand and then that'll be it. And that's it. So that's my buying plans. That's the whole jewelry collection. Hopefully you guys enjoy this whole video. Let me know what your favorite piece is in the comments below, what you guys are looking to buy into with jewelry. Hopefully I answered all your questions. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Peace.